Good evening everyone. In this video tonight let's do a murder mystery reading. It can be murder mystery, it can be any crime reading. In this reading we will ask what happened, why, how, who is the victim, who is the aggressor, <clears throat> and will it be solved. So this is our reading if you'd like to participate if you have any um, ideas about if you've watched anything on TV and you are curious to know what happened in this or that crime case or a murder mystery you can think of that case and choose a deck it can be an old case it can be a new one it can be something mysterious that you don't know what happened and you can still do this reading. So we have four different decks here. If you'd like to participate, please think of the case. Go through those decks and see which deck feels like that case. Which color, which back, which feels like that. You can think of several ones as well. And take your time, please. Have you chosen? So let's start with our deck number one, Miss Cleo's tarot deck. Miss Cleo's tarot. five of coins okay with this particular card we have a clue that uh, perhaps people are not look, looking at the wrong direction to solve this case they're looking not where they're supposed to look and uh, it can also point to water someone disappearing or something related with the water the victim who is the aggressor we have two cards and will it be sold the mystery will it be revealed sold what happened four of coins so four of coins can point to a financial crime it can point to four bodies for example four dead bodies that someone found it can also point to um, you know a grave or something like that you know like a square object that someone found somewhere <coughs> um, so that sort of situation here now what is why why did the aggressor commit this mu uh, murder or crime again the magician is showing that this person just thought they are god and they can do whatever they want narcissistic personality psychopathic person person thinks that they're ruling the world they can do whatever they want that law doesn't apply to them basically absolute obsession with themselves and the power, basically, I did it because I can, that sort of thing. It's like, it can be experimentation, it can be some sort of self-exploration even, or, you know, <clears throat> um, looks like like serial killer type of personality. How is it done? Ace of coins is through work. So maybe someone invited the victim saying, I've got a job for you, I've got an offer for you. So they promise something to the victim, like there's an opportunity for you, come meet me, you know, this and that will happen. Uh, you can earn a lot of money, 
you might get a job, something through work, some like promising a lot of money or just an opportunity. For example, for a student, someone can say, I've got a part-time job for you, so meet me at you know, at this time and we'll talk about it. So the, the student goes and it's a trap. Now, who is the victim? Okay, we have the tower. Tower usually points to a person who is really vulnerable, who's gone through a lot in life, lost everything, for example. A person might be homeless, a person might be some sort of victim of some sort of violence, for example, a victim, like a refugee, like some sort of person who has been through a lot, who suffered anyway before that. Maybe ex-prisoner, it could be ex, um, a person has been arrested before. Person who never had a good life, let's say difficult, dangerous, always violence, always threat can be related with fire, you know, like firefighter or uh, some sort of builder or, you know, just a emotionally destroyed person. Who was the murderer? <coughs> Seven of coins and ten of swords. Like, literally looks like someone who was um, unemployed who, someone who lost the job, someone who quit work, maybe, let's say, who didn't have money. You have them quit the job. The person might have back problems. They might have back pain. A person, let's say, maybe some sort of construction worker who carries things on their back, and then they have back problems because of that. And it seems like, like they quit that job as well. You know, so literally can be a person who is not alive. Oh, not alive. I'm saying unemployed at that time. Now, let's have a look. Will this be sold? Two of coins. Well... It can be, you know, we had four of coins in the beginning, so it can be that two murders might be solved if there's four murders or something, number four. But with two of coins, it's most likely like a ping pong, you know. Sometimes they almost reach there, but they come back to the beginning. It seems not. Like they have sold, have not sold, something like that. Like it's about to be sold, and then the like decide that there's no, um, that they're not sure or something, like there's a doubt always, like there are two versions of this, so something like that. Also it can be if there are four victims, four might be sold. Now talking about this construction thing, for some reason looks like construction money offer, maybe you know, five of coins can point to sort of uh, working class, you know, people who live week for, week to week or month to month, or mo from month to month, you know, they just don't have any savings, that sort of uh, class. And the other meaning, of course, is that uh, four bodies in the water, and like, but at the same time, the clue is there, and no one is looking at the clue, you know, this is the clue. They are looking at somewhere else. They are looking for something that is not there. So that's sort of reading number one. Let's move on to reading number two. Our uh, Tower of the Old Path. Murder mystery. What happened? Who did it? How, why? This, uh, I would like to say, this doesn't show very precisely. Maybe I haven't learned the technique yet. But this can show very, in an abstract way, like uh, symbols in a dream. 
and then after we get those symbols we have to kind of interpret it and um, sometimes it's better sometimes it's worse so now i have ten of pentacles it can point to a family a situation where family members are involved let's see uh, maybe there was a murder in the family maybe there was an affair and husband killed wife that sort of situation could be here so what happened why how victim aggressor will it be solved so situation what happened eight of cauldrons definitely someone taking what they needed and leaving basically this uh, particular card can talk about leaving our relationship let's say wife wanted to leave because we have done the pentacles from before so it could be that wife for example wants to leave the husband or husband wants to leave the wife and another person feels cheated and angry and they you know want to stop them for example or take a revenge or something like that so yeah we have some sort of situation like sneakiness someone um coming like a thief taking what they want and they're leaving you know some sort of like a little bit of sneakiness as well now why did the aggressor commit this crime five of cups of course it can be family issues separation divorce children it can be simply the person was very upset the person was upset uh, with the broken dreams and broken heart and you know things like that they didn't know what to do and it could be the, one of the motivations was children uh, one way or the other it was children now how well three of swords i think this was like so to say very in an aggressive way this was done no one was hiding from anyone it, this was not a trap this was just an attack you know because some murder some kind of mysteries happen when there is kind of like you know without person knowing or it's a trap or it's some sort of game or it's a surprise you know or something like that so this is very expressive this is very open and of course three people might be involved for example uh, maybe wife's lover was killed and in front of her or something like that and uh, basically something very expressive sudden causing injuries you know very violent Things like that, causing tears and blood and all that. Okay, so this is how. Now, who's the victim? We have the lone man. Okay, the victim was the one who was kind of sacrificing, the one who was calm, the one who was kind of helpless. Or chose to be helpless you know who was weak and in this case we might have a person who took like any type of medications for example you know if you know the person then they might have taken any like the antidepressants or sleeping pills or something like that the person might have been into drugs or something like that. so basically they might have things like that also this card could be who is the victim also the victim can be the one who who was hanged you know who was found hanging and what is interesting money is falling from his pocket here he has a wallet and from the wallet not pocket wallet coins are falling so maybe there was a robbery as well um maybe this person was rich 
that sort of thing. So it can also be if it's a family issue, like a, a, a person in the relationship who chose to um, wade it through, who sacrifice themselves, their happiness, just to be in the relationship, something like that. Now, who is the aggressor, the greedy one? The one who wanted the money, basically. Look for a person who wanted the money, who is the greedy one, whose main interest is doc, cash, bank uh, account, I don't know, credit cards, you know, things like that. Now, will the person be caught? And we have kind of a young person here, Page of Cups. So, Page of Cups can be a mini, can be saying that a child will be caught, a young person will be caught. So, kind of, yes, you know, we have a person um, who will be arrested, but the person is kind of, is like a child, like very young maybe about tw in 20s or like up to 25 years old and kind of there's some sort of innocence about that person like maybe it was unlucky some sort of love affair or some sort of disappointing relationship but we had the family cards and we had some sort of a fair love triangle happening. This card can talk about love triangle. This can talk about separation. This can talk about love triangle. And basically, that sort of reading is here. Okay, let's move on to our deck number two, uh, number three. Our deck number three is right away. So, too many cards. We have some sort of scary cards falling. We're asking what happened in this murder case. So, what happened? Why, how, who's the victim, who's the aggressor, and will they be caught? Will the aggressor be caught? Situation. We have some sort of uh, stormy situation, some sort of, can talk about two people being involved. Can be some sort of strangulation, someone was found strangled, for example. And the situation can be a second marriage, can be entertainer was involved in this uh, murder, can be two bodies are found, you know. Now, why? Why did the aggressor kill this person <laughs> or persons? So we have this Knight of Wands, usually the person was angry, the person was violent, the person intended it, um, the person hated the victims, you know. Uh, it can be the victim won't try to get away from this person, you know, something like that. No, how did it happen? We have a happy card, we have a happy place. It can be, uh, why did it happen? I don't know, it was like a party or something, a wedding, something happy, and then some maybe argument happened in that place. So, it can be some sort of agitation, or something like sometimes happens in, in, in parties, arguments. Um, so, if we ask how it happened, it happened happily. Maybe the person called the victim for uh, out to go to, on a date. Maybe they call them to go to a concert. Maybe they call to to spend their time together somewhere. And um, basically beautifully. They did it beautifully and happily without the victim suspecting anything. Maybe the, uh, they also didn't plan in the beginning the, the murder. So um, <clears throat> 
it can be beautiful place hotel i don't know something posh environment but the reason seems confusing why maybe because they were far away from home maybe because um they traveled somewhere maybe the victim was far away from home so they thought no one can find them or something okay so who's the victim well, we have a happy person a family person um it can be either the aggressor's family member like a spouse or <clears throat> a relative or the victim could have been a very happy person um, a person who is just like always happy and people are just loving that person like liked by everyone has everything you know content satisfied always pleasant you know that sort of thing who was the murderer the star well the star can point to you know like pedophiles and all the like people who have creepy fantasies you know who are obsessed with female body with porn with um i don't know with you know prostitutes and things like that so this person might be a bit sick in the head okay because this is too much you know this card shows that they're too much into that dream world fantasy world they are too uh, maybe even taking some sort of substances or doing things that uh, are also like substances. Of course, the star can is almost a card of the other world. It can be something otherworldly, like aliens, ghosts, you know, that sort of concept. So... Also, this card can mean a police officer because of the star, the sheriff. It can mean a police officer. Okay, now will they be caught? No. Seven of swords mean that either there will be bureaucracy, corruption, uh, things will be mishandled, you know, uh, things, they will be cheating, they're uh, happening, and the person who did it will be able to get away with lies and, and things like that, you know. They were clever, they know how to go about the law and it's definitely like um, whatever the outcome will be, even if they arrest someone, that will be not the right person, something like that. So this is our reading number three. Advice, what to do. Choose get away, travel, you know, something about distance, something about um, search or something. For some, sometimes can mean let go of this, let go of this. How to find who did it. Also can point that uh, transport, cars, maybe there's a clue related to transport and cars. How to find this person, how to nicely through making friends and through becoming uh, familiar with that person. It's through look at their friendships and relationships or become their friend and maybe they'll tell you what, what happened. So basically nicely. So this was our reading number three. Let's move on to our reading number four. This is the beautiful Italian artist tarot. Um, Ace of Wands and Eight of Cups. Some sort of distance again. Uh, travel, far away, streets, rivers. Maybe something will be found at near the river or the person simply disappeared, they walked away. What happened? Why? How? 
victim murderer and will they be found okay here we have a fight uh, what happened is a fight and usually this is when people start arguing verbally it starts from something small and then the um, this hap this becomes bigger and bigger and they start hitting each other shouting at each other becomes physical and actually doesn't end well so we have a clash we have a fight like very very dramatic very emotional very fierce you know verbal expressive you know when people just don't control themselves anymore it can be a fight between two people it can be among more people why did this happen well this is a criminal thing uh, why did the aggressor kill the victim why did they hurt the victim a page of swords maybe they thought the victim was lying to them uh, this card also talks about the uh, hate it can talk about betrayal they thought that the victim betrayed them it can say that they were just hating the victim and they just were angry at the victim and it can be that the person the aggressor was a criminal person who went to jail before and who was very used to violent lifestyle and things like that so this behavior is kind of their default behavior there was no other way that they could have reacted to this uh, it's the argument that's the only way that they could have de dealt with this argument how did this happen lovers most likely the it was between a husband and wife or two lovers um, can be just boyfriend girlfriend or boyfriend boyfriend or whatever and they met maybe they had I don't know sex and basically then something happened and started fighting and then there was hate things like that so it it was passion it was love kind of love romantic relationship initially who was the victim page of cups we have a child um, a very young person can be a young girl can be a teenager, someone below 25 years old, you know, some kind of person. If it's a very young person with these bad cards, can show rape also, assault. Who is the murderer? It can be two people. Uh, sometimes, usually, this card means I don't know, I don't know. It's like no one knows, something like that. Uh, but also, it can mean two people. Two murderers. There are. Two murderers. What else can we know about them? Ten of Cups is familiar and family, very known to the victim. A lover, husband, boyfriend. Basically, at least one of them, 100%, was someone very close, like our partner, most likely. And let's have a look, will they be found? Queen of Pentacles. I think, yes, the murderer will be found. Queen of Pentacles, uh, a woman will help them find the murderer or the woman's body will help them find the murderer or someone will say something you know like um, some witness or something like that there is like a very important female here okay I don't know maybe some other girlfriend of that person or someone who is tortured by guilt or about some fear of that person so they might tell something and uh, yeah this might be solved so thank you for watching this re uh, this video i hope you enjoyed this reading hope it um helped you 
with this mystery, with this cold case mystery. And um, yeah, it, it usually it's it's not always correct. It's not always showing a lot. It's just a short, quick glimpse into the situation, and it shows the abstract main idea, basically not the details. But sometimes you can get uh, helpful information as well. So thank you for watching again. Ho hope you have a wonderful night. Good night.